I want to die on Mars. That's what people are saying. Well, scientists are saying. Yo, guys, what's up? Dave Wobble here. Welcome to I.O. So we're talking about the little red planet. Yeah, that little one right there. Specifically, the Mars One mission. Which, if you guys don't know, it's a mission that's going to happen in 2024. That's right. It is a mission to Mars. But here's the catch. It's a one-way ticket. You ain't coming home. Not unless you got a really long fishing rod. Now, some of you guys might say, why? Who would sign up for this? That means you're going to die and live the rest of your life on Mars. Well, when the mission was initially announced, they had over 200,000 people worldwide who signed up for the Mars One mission. And since all those volunteers have signed up, they have done some major cutting down. Why? Because, well, it's going to be a four-person spacecraft that's like $4 billion. So out of 200,000, we're only getting four. And right now, they're looking at 660 people. And believe it or not, guys, one of them is a guy that I know. His name is Andrew Rader. He's an MIT aeronautics and astronautics expert. Yeah, that's right. I know I'm not the brightest guy out there, but I do know some smart people. Now, there are other people out there like Maggie Liu, who's 24 years old, who are a part of this mission. The plan for this mission is to set up a settlement on the planet, which is being funded by a nonprofit Dutch organization. Now, as a matter of fact, I actually got to talk to my buddy Andrew on Facebook about this whole thing. I asked him what he's doing to get ready for this trip. Besides a boatload of interviews, he's doing medicals as well. I also went on to ask him what his thoughts were and how he felt about leaving Earth behind. I asked him if he was afraid or if he felt bad about it. And he said, not really. It seems like a great way to spend his life, if you ask him. Now, how does one live on Mars? Well, they'll have their own machines that keep giving them oxygen. And for water, believe it or not, they're actually going to get it from the ice crust. If you ask me, guys, I think doing something like this is courageous and bold. I think we need something like that in society as a whole. Because all we have is war and crime and, you know, selfies. We need something like the moon landing, which hasn't happened since 1969. Yeah, of course, we've had moon landing since then, but the initial one when they first landed, everyone was like, oh my gosh, this is happening right now. Either way, to people like Maggie Lou and my friend Andrew Radar, I gotta say Godspeed to you guys. You're doing a great thing for humanity. But I want to know from you guys. I want to know, do you think it's stupid that we are going to Mars? Let me know down there. Should we fix our problems here or what? So thanks for watching, guys. My name's Dave Wapple, and as I always say, keep it real, keep it classy, keep it spaced out. They're in the real world. Later.